Hello and a very warm welcome to my channel. I'm Polly and in this week's painting demonstration I'm painting a fantasy style horse. I've used lots of different colours in the mane and including a bit of gold and I loved using that gold as you can see. Um, I don't think it's too much, do you? No. <laughs> Without further ado, here's the video. I hope you enjoy it. I've taped masking tape on the back of this 10 by 12 inch canvas paper. As you can see, there's two either side, one going across the corners. So I've taped more masking tape over those. I'm using my trusty pastel pencil, but you can use chalk to draw in the image. I'll leave a link to the reference image in the description box below. With chalk, you can simply use a wet cloth to take out anything that you think might need a readjusting. For the background, I'm using a mixture of ultramarine blue, Windsor violet and white. For the body, I've made a base layer of Windsor Violet, Yellow Ochre and White. As with all of the acrylic paintings that I do, I create lots and lots of layers. With a blue grey mix of ultramarine blue and burnt umber with some white, I define some of the areas like the eyes and the nose. So I continue the painting in the evening and the light isn't so bright, there's less definition in what you can see but you can still hopefully see how I'm going about the painting.
yellow layer is mainly white with yellow ochre, a touch of Windsor violet. And as I go along, I'm adding more and more white. Very often I'll put my palette in my fridge so that the acrylic painting doesn't dry out and go solid. I covered it with a casserole dish so that nothing else contaminates the paint and the paint doesn't contaminate everything else in the fridge. This is actually two days later and it's, it still has a wet consistency. So that worked out really great. I started putting the whiskers in and I ended up not liking the effect so, so I scrubbed them out with a wet paintbrush or the paint could dry. between warmer tones and cooler tones, to and froing until I get the image to what feels and looks right to me. The nose and the mouth needed to be a little bit longer, so I'm reworking. Here we go with the colour. All the colours of the rainbow. Plus a little gold.
use an old wet toothbrush to flick paint it in the background. Please like, comment and subscribe for weekly painting demonstrations. Until next week friends, enjoy being creative!